All right. Whether it's, say, a sick kid or a, a crying baby, or maybe it's just too many cocktails, we all have had some sleepless nights here and there. And while you might be feeling it the next day, it doesn't mean you need to look like a wreck. That's where Zathena comes in with some tips and an absolutely gorgeous model this morning named Lisa. Thank you for coming in. We were chatting on the phone about this. This was shortly after New Year's because I called Zathena for some help <laughs> because of a crying baby. She's like, I've got so many great tips that I can help you with, including a blow dryer. And we're going to get to that in a moment. But let's talk about how this whole thing comes together because you've done one side of Lisa's face I've done to show side. us these tricks. Right, and we also have a before picture too. Okay. Of her as well. Um, but basically, you want to hit a few key points. And whenever you're tired, usually you're puffy under your eyes or you look a little drawn. Mm -hmm. So by bringing all the focus and attention up, it's going to make all the difference in the world. That'll wake you right up. Do we have that before picture that we can bring up? Okay, we don't have it, but that's okay. That's okay. We can see the before um, side. And really, it's interesting because even with this shot from a distance and close up, you can see how much more alive the side of her face that you've done is. Yeah, and it just... It, brightens everything up. So the first thing you want to do is you want to do concealer. Most women want to put a concealer just under their eye. You're missing half the point or you know half of the areas you need to get. So really it's important to get concealer in by the tear duct, a little on the lid and just a small amount. And then you want to put it under the eye. Open look up for me. Under the entire eye, very conservatively. You don't need a lot. If you get too much concealer on the outer edge of your eye, you're going to end up having it settle and then it'll make you look older. Really? Now, this little magical triangular area here, if you bring concealer down through here, just a small amount by brightening up this whole little area helps to lift everything up. Okay, what a difference just that little trick you just did. Yeah, so don't rock the 80s with the raccoon effect. <laughs> Go a little lighter on the outer part of the eye. Make sure you get it on the inner part of the eye and bring it down in that little triangular fashion. Um, another thing you could do is the brightening eyeshadow. Okay. Okay, and you can put those on the brow bone and also in by the tear duct. When you say that, does that mean lighter colors or are we going to find that on the label, brightening eye eyeshadow? Well, sometimes people will put that on their labels, different brands will. Yeah. But usually it's something that's going to have like a, a, a shimmery effect. Okay. But you want to be careful to stay away from an ingredient called bismuth oxychloride that will tend to settle in fine lines and pores and make them look more pronounced so that'll make you look not you know it'll make you look a little older okay. which can make you look tired yeah so the brightening eyeshadow I'm using is from one that I make and it's a sateen so it's not real shimmery but whenever you turn and you catch the light it adds a nice brightness it, it's almost like a bone color yeah it's kind okay. of like a fleshy bone color and then what I do like to do is I put this color and again it's called hope in here by the tear duct because that's where the skin is real thin through there, so you will look dark and on the brow bone because we're wanting to add lift. Okay. Now another bright eyeshadow trick, you can do it with eyeliner, maybe do like a, um, a darker eyeliner underneath and then a bright, you know, vivid color on top, or if you want to do it a little more subtle, mm -hmm. do a vivid eyeshadow. And the one I did for, for Lisa is called Sunset and it's kind of a nice peachy color. I'm right, go with really soft colors. It is really soft, blending. but when she opens her eyes, you're going to see that nice pop of illuminizing color that's pretty and it's going to help to add lift. Okay. And another trick for adding lift is eyebrows. Right, which is huge. And this yes. is ages old, but I think a lot of us forget. Yeah, oh, if you don't fill in your eyebrows with any color, at least brush them through with, with an eyebrow brush mm -hmm. after your makeup's done so you don't have powder sitting on them because it'll make them look dusty. When I do eyebrows, I like to start in the center part of the arch and then continue out and then work back on the inner part of the brow. And by filling in your brows a little fuller and a little softer, just looks brighter and it does add that lift and more useful. Look. Yes, it's much more clean. Mascara. Mascara, okay, eyelash curler. This is like almost better than going to the plastic surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> Do tell! So many people don't curl their lashes or they're like, oh, my eyelash curler just doesn't work. Well, it's probably because the pad needs to be changed. Okay. It. So when you curl your lashes, you wanna look straight ahead. And you want to get as close to the lash line as you can and really get a good bend in it and hold it for a few seconds, then release, and then go closer to the lash line and do it again. And then where does the blow dryer come in? Okay, after you put your mascara on, one of my clients taught me this trick. I swear to you, it's crazy. It works. Okay. You have to do it on cool shots. So once you get your mascara on, your lashes are curled and your mascara's on, you just put your blow dryer on cool shot and you just aim it towards your lashes and it blows them up and it dries them with the mascara on. I know it sounds crazy. I can't wait to try this. Yeah, Jenny Apt, one of my wonderful clients, like showed me that, and I love it. And so I don't do it all the time, but once in a while I'll yeah. do it myself, and I'm like, that really does work great. And okay. it's, you know, your dryer's already there, anyways. Well, thank you so much, thank both you. of you. Thank you. Yeah, you're you're daring. She said, "Oh no, I'm going to be on TV without some of my makeup." She on. wasn't thrilled. You look fabulous. <laughs> thank you.